You've probably seen the viral videos stealing the headlines. In front of everybody in plain daylight. Organized retail thefts are a new challenge, but daily, a long-standing problem eats into store profits too. It's the everyday small shoplifter, the people that are taking two, three, four, five dollars at a time and coming in all the time. Benny Tiapon is an independent grocer in Petaluma. His team is catching lots of shoplifters. At least one shoplifter every day. Three yesterday. But he says far more go undetected. So now he's adding a new layer of artificial intelligence to his store's security cameras. All 36 feed into an AI system developed by a French tech company called Vision. It analyzes the video feeds for telltale movements that suggest someone is stealing. Placing items in a backpack, a purse, in a trousers, in a jacket, consuming the product. Vision co-founder Benoit Koenig invited me to try it playing the thief. I walked down the wine aisle and slipped a bottle in my backpack. All right, I stole it. How quickly will you get the alert? Yeah, I just have to wait a few seconds. Less than a minute later, Got it. a very suspicious activity alert popped up on a manager's phone with a video clip of me. Without AI, my crime might have gone undetected. The algorithm doesn't care about what people look like. It's just recognizing a gesture. Vision says it signed up 300 mostly independent U.S. stores for its new AI. That's a tiny slice of U.S. retailers, but it's not the only one on the job. Happy Wednesday from the WUFT newsroom. To see what else is on the horizon, we traveled 2,500 miles east to the University of Florida, home of the Loss Prevention Research Council. We've got between 230, 250, depending on who you ask, technologies in here. Director Reed Hayes is a criminologist. We have a visible camera here. This mock store, complete with shelves and checkouts, is a one-of-a-kind laboratory. This is the only place in the world like it. Scientists here are working with 110 tech companies and 88 retailers to cut stores' losses. There's AI in here that can pick up if you're not actually scanning an item at self-checkout. The tech here, like this tiny concealed exit camera, is focused on identifying and stopping shoplifters, one-off thieves and smash-and-grab crews alike. The lab's crawling with cameras. You'll see that we've got eight of them. And often, retail executives. They want to brainstorm with us, but they want to spend time in these labs. When they meet with you, how many of those stores tell you shoplifting is flat or down? Uh, none of them have told us that shoplifting or theft or losses are down or flat. A National Retail Federation security survey found 52% of stores are increasing budgets for security equipment. We're talking about tens of millions more nationally. Back in Petaluma. So we're in the back office. Vision told us a small AI system like Benny's costs just a couple hundred dollars a month. A fraction of what a security guard would cost. Benny says during the first few weeks, his systems already flagged several people for pocketing an item. And his team has approached them. Typically say, I'm sorry, and give it back. That's all we want. Please don't do it again. Deterrence would be a big win for Benny. And maybe for shoppers. I hope that for the shoppers eventually it means groceries will cost a little less if we can stop shoplifting. Artificial intelligence in stores, possibly bringing real savings home to you. In Petaluma, Chris Camora, NBC Bay Area News.